What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lauren and I am a regional flight attendant and I'm based in Indianapolis, Indiana. A lot has happened since I've talked to you guys the last time and that's why I'm going to break this video up into a couple different parts. The first part I'm going to explain kind of what's been going on, the furlough situation, and everything like that. And then the second part, I just got off of a three day trip which I filmed, so I will add that in there as well. And I got a really awesome sponsorship for this video. I'm so excited to share with you guys. So if you wanna keep watching, then let's get into it. All right, so I am super excited to be teaming up with Teddy Blake for this section of the video. Thank you so much for collabing with me and sending me this amazing bag that I am so excited to share with you guys. If you have not checked out Teddy Blake and have not heard of this company, I strongly urge you to do so. You can go to teddyblake.com and check out their handbags. And I will show you guys what they sent me and I'm literally obsessed with it. So they had sent me this beautiful tote bag. Um, you can put it on your shoulder or you can use it as a crossbody and then with it came this wristlet and I literally am obsessed with the color. I think it is absolutely stunning. Now is the best time to check out some of their stuff. They're having a huge sale and some of their things are up to 70% off. And on top of that, I have a discount code for you guys to use if you're interested. So if you would like to use my discount code, it is TBLauren20 and you'll get 20% off your purchase at Teddy Blake. So definitely go check them out. I highly recommend it. I am so excited to use this beautiful bag on my next travel trip. Hopefully that's soon. I know that we're still in the pandemic, so hopefully once things go back to normal, I can take a trip and use this bag. There is literally so much space in there and yeah. Let's get on to the next part of the video. And I want to try to make this as positive as I, as I can, but it's not a very positive subject. So let's talk about furloughs. So a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video, and at the end of the video, I kind of explained that I think I may get furloughed, but I'm not sure. I'm right on the cusp, and I really didn't know what to expect. And I got an email from the company and our union, and unfortunately, as of October 1st, I will be furloughed. So, I am still at a complete loss of words because, as you guys know, um, you know that I absolutely love this job and I love traveling and flying, and it's very heartbreaking because I'm one of thousands of flight attendants, pilots, um, anyone in aviation who are going to be laid off as of October 1st. With that being said, it's not all terrible as of yet. I know Congress is still maybe going to be passing a bill that will save some jobs. I do know that our company as well as other airlines are still kind of working on mitigating efforts to save some furloughs. So I don't know if it's exactly set in stone right now. And if it is, I do have a plan in place. And I can't really discuss that right now just because it hasn't started yet, but it's very exciting. And I promise once I get more information and things are moving with that whole thing, I will definitely give you guys that whole scoop. But as of right now, unfortunately, I am gonna be losing my job as a flight attendant and that really sucks but I knew we were all kind of preparing for it and it's here I have one month left pretty much with which is September and I do have a line and I'm flying with some really great people so I've tried making the very best out of the last few months and honestly I can say with confidence that I have had no regrets since the day I started being a flight attendant with my company. I have taken trips with friends, I have taken solo trips, and I have made the absolute most out of my overnights. And yeah, if you're watching this and you fly for my company, 
thank you for being the best. I have literally met the most amazing people and friends throughout my journey at my company and I am so grateful and we are just kind of helping each other out right now, getting through it. Um, the thing is with aviation, it's not just a job, it's a, an entire lifestyle. We uprooted a lot to be here. We've sacrificed weddings, Christmases, holidays, weekends to live our dream and fly and travel and it's a whole lifestyle change but you know what we're gonna take the good and the bad and we're gonna move on and pray for the best, hope for the best and hope that the travel industry, the aviation industry starts to pick back up and we'll start working again but that's my whole scoop on the furlough situation and when I know more concrete details about my next steps or if anything changes, I will definitely let you guys know. So the next part of the video is a three day trip. So if you're interested in seeing the vlog, then stay tuned. Good morning guys and welcome to another video. It is Tuesday, August 11th and I'm about to head on a three day trip. It's actually the start of a six day stretch, which is crazy. I've done it a couple times, but this trip I'm flying with a couple of my friends, so I'm super excited. It's definitely an interesting trip. Today we'll be in Bradley, Connecticut, I think, and then tomorrow we're in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I've never been there with this job, so that'll be super interesting, but today is kind of weird as well. We have a six hour sit in Chicago. They took off a turn that we were supposed to do so now we have six hours in Chicago so I'm hoping that they will give us a day room. So by contract they're supposed to give us a day room. I think it's over four hour sit time in an airport so hopefully we get that today and we get to rest a little bit, maybe take a nap because I am not trying to spend six hours in O'Hare. So that's the plan. I'm heading to the airport now and I will catch up with you guys when I get there. changed our schedule for today. Instead of overnighting in Connecticut and having that six hour sit we were supposed to have, they add more flying and we'll be overnighting. As of now, they could still change it in Washington, D.C. I'm so excited. I really hope it stays. If it does stay, we have 17 hours and I love D.C. I've only been there once and I absolutely loved it and I'm excited to go back if that's the case. So, yeah, we're gonna head to Chicago. 30 minute flight, I believe there's like 50 people. All right guys, so the three hour set's over. Heading to the plane to go to Cincinnati. There's a two hour set and then we'll end up in Washington. What's up guys, from Washington, DC. We just made it to the hotel after a very long day. We had a three hour set in Chicago and a two hour sit in Cincinnati, so pretty tired, but we're about to hang out as a crew, so I'm super excited. We thought we were gonna go downtown, um, walk the monuments, but it's just too hard to get there. The Ubers are like $70, and I guess the trains are running or not running a lot, so I think we're just gonna go somewhere close by and just hang out. So I will show you my room before I head out with my crew. So I just got done showering. It is about 
11 and we have a 9 30 van in the morning so i'm gonna hit the sheets i had a really fun night with my crew i didn't really film it just because we were enjoying the moment but we hit a irish pub slash restaurant and then a brewery so that was super fun uh, we didn't make it downtown just because the ubers were out of control um so we just stuck around the hotel which was still pretty fun but i'm sure i'll be back to dc at some point but yeah that's what's going on i'm gonna go to bed and tomorrow is a very long day we have five flights they have reassigned us and we're working five flights there's not even a deadhead in there it's gonna be a very long day we don't do service they're pretty short flights so i think that's what's gonna save us but uh yeah still gonna be a long day so i'm gonna get my beauty sleep and i will talk to you guys bright and early tomorrow morning What's up guys, I have to make this quick because I have one minute before I'm supposed to be downstairs for the van. Yikes, but very long day today, five legs. We end up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I will try my very best to check in with you guys periodically. It'll probably be very hard because they're very quick turns. So I'll try my best and I will see you guys later. All right, flight three of five is done. We're in Cincinnati, this jet bridge is super cool. And we're heading to Chicago again and then from Chicago to Green Bay so two more quick flights hopefully they both go well and we'll be at the hotel all right guys we made it to Chicago and uh, one more flight that's it I believe it's probably like 20 or 30 minutes so love that I'm literally so tired I am having trouble keeping my eyes open at this point but yeah we board in like 20 minutes or so and we'll be in Green Bay Wisconsin and I don't know if I'm gonna do anything because I'm so exhausted and uh, yeah five legs is a lot but yeah other than that it was a good day no delays all the people were great and no complaints so yeah I will see you guys when we get to Green Bay all right so we finally made it to green bay after 13 hours of work i'm exhausted but it was a very good day super excited to be here i'll show you guys my room and then i'm gonna head to dinner with the crew and that's about all i have planned for the rest of the night we might walk around tomorrow morning we're really close to lambeau field where the packers play so we'll see what tomorrow has in store but i'll show you guys my room we love two beds morning from Green Bay, Wisconsin. It is almost 11. I am heading downstairs to catch the shuttle to the airport and go home. So we do four legs today. The first one is a deadhead to Chicago. Then we go from Chicago to Grand Rapids, back to Chicago, and then Chicago to Indy. So they're very quick flights, probably 30 minutes each. And yeah, I'm excited to be home, but then tomorrow I take back off on another three day. So not much time at home, but it's all right. At least we're going home tonight. So. All right, so that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, I say it all the time, but I post way more on Instagram. So if you do have an Instagram account, please go give me a follow. I'll leave my Instagram name on the screen and in my description. And if you are interested in Teddy Blake, please make sure to go check out their website, their Instagram. Their stuff is absolutely stunning. They're up and coming and 
they deserve all the hype i am in love with the bag that they sent me and i plan to order a couple items myself make sure to use that coupon code or that discount code if you want a 20 percent discount and i'll also leave that in the description so yeah that's all i have for you guys i am gonna try my best to stay positive and find the best in this whole furlough situation i'm sending all of my fellow aviation people so much love so keep us on your prayers we're going through it right now and that's the end of this video so i will see you guys on my next vlog